السلام عليكم المعلومة السريعة لازم نعرفها uh, the CBCT planes so we have the axial plane, sagittal plane and coronal plane the sagittal plane divides the body into right and left the coronal plane dividing the body front and back and the axial plane divides the body into top and bottom for example the coronal plane uh, we are moving from the back of the head to the nose and the axial plane we are moving from the chin up so from the chin to the top of the head this is an example axial view sagittal view coronal view here it's like you are looking from the top of the patient as we said uh, the axial view uh, divides the body into top and bottom the sagittal it's like you are looking at the side of the patient since it divides the body into right and left and the coronal view divides the body uh, front and back so it's like you are looking uh, in front of the patient or behind the patient okay to explain how this software works uh, let's say we want to see a axial view we will go to view views we have multiple views here, axial, coronal, sagittal, and so on. For example, let's say coronal view. As I mentioned, the coronal view divides the body into front and back. So basically, we are moving from the back of the head to the nose, or from the nose to the back of the head. You can see here the, this line, the pink line, how, it's, how it moves. To explain it, let's go 3D coronal projection. Here you can see how this uh, pink line moves. See the coronal view from the back to the, of the head to the nose. If I remove the, this 3D view, we will basically have here the coronal view. Rendering on view 3D projection. Okay. So, uh, for example, let's see a sagittal plane or the sagittal view. View. Sagittal. As I mentioned, it divides the body into right and left. To explain it, we will go to view, 3D, sagittal projection. It will basically start in the midline, kind of. So we are moving right and left. Since this is uh, an old case, I will view the cyst yes there it is so it basically moves a uh, mesial and distal the program is basic i view we need to enter from the column here view views and we will choose from here coronal sagittal and so on uh, let's say you want to draw the panoramic curve you will go here and draw it into a curve and you will just point in the middle of the two and that's it uh, I'm using the Bernamage the Blue Sky Plan the program will automatically open any DICOM files since uh, the CT scan of uh, the CT scan DICOM We uh, will move on different views So basically I will start with the 3D view It's self-explanatory uh, Here we have a density threshold The more density threshold 
you will only see the more dense anatomy. The less dense anatomy will disappear. The less density threshold, we will see more anatomy. Taban, you can rotate what you are seeing by clicking any of these arrows. Or by holding your mouse. Or by using this icon, left, right, and so on. Okay, now let's move on to the axial view. As I am moving through the images, the blue line, this blue line here, the blue line is moving accordingly, represents to us the exact location of the slice we are viewing. Uh, 3D view, view, 3D axial projection. Here you can understand how this uh, how this blue line is working here in the 3d view we can basically see the axial view okay uh, this curve this one here this curve is the panoramic curve uh, basically it's placed automatically by the software if you want to make it longer or shorter so that the panoramic view will show more or less anatomy like this like this of course you can make two separate curves for the upper and the lower arch from here mandible and maxilla okay uh, طريقة عشان نتذكر العلاقة بين ال view وال clever indicators. Look at the indicators surrounding the view. For example, here in the axial view, we have a blue indicator, which represents this one, this line. And the cross section view has three colors. One, two, three. The cross section, as we said, has three colorful lines showing us vertically. Vertical slices of the patient's anatomy. So, to explain it, let's go to the view, 3D cross section. Now you can understand how the cross section view is working. Okay, other view has been the tangential view, this one, our 360 view. Taban, the purpose of uh, of this view is to show us a 360 degree around the particular anatomy or around an implant. Uh, as we move through the those slices, we can see here in the axial view uh, that the green indicator is rotating accordingly. It will rotate uh, around the specific anatomy that we are trying to see it will it shows the exact angle of what we are viewing for example you can change the angle by grabbing this and rotate it and a wireless axial view in uh, this case a uh, radicular cyst here we can rotate around it you will notice the cyst the size of it This is the 360 degree or the tangential view. Okay, كمل خاص مرينا على ال 3D view وتكلمنا إنه ممكن نزيد ونقلل ال density. تكلمنا عن ال axial view. تكلمنا عن ال panoramic curve. طبعا we have inner and outer curve. Also you can manipulate it. You can also delete it. You will only only see a slice of it. Okay. Then we talked about the cross-sectional view and the 360-degree view. 
3D axiom as we move through the axial view this blue line will move accordingly okay 3D axial projection 3D cross section here we can see uh, the cyst that I just talked about here in the cross section and uh, in the 360 degree and the axial also uh, for the cross section uh, the difference between each one here is one milli seven eight nine so this explains uh, the three lines the distance between the three lines seven nine ten eleven and so on so it's very precise هاي حالة قديمة هنحاول إنه نحدد مكان النيرف إنه فيه أفيا نيرف we'll go to panels nerve list add nerve detect nerve basically we will use the 3D view by clicking on the mental foramen here and the software will auto locate the nerve تم تحديد مكان النيرف